other one is ready you see so sponge just returns back on its own hi guys a warm welcome back to my youtube channel i'm yours truly melissa if you're new here please please subscribe to this channel and hit on the notification bell if you're a returning subscriber thank you so much for always coming back to watch my content and if you're a returning viewer it means you just come and view my content you maybe give a like or a comment but you've not subscribed please subscribe Today, guys, I come to you once again from my cooking space, and uh, today I'm going to, um, like you've seen from the title, I'm going to take you guys through how to make fluffy donut balls, soft and fluffy donut balls. Yeah, not the normal donuts. No, these ones are so different, and they are so nice, and they are so tasty. So I want to take you through the procedure, guys. I'll show you the ingredients, then we'll make the donuts with you. Then you can try it out also and tag me. Leave a comment when you watch this video. Give a like to this video and share with your friends. So guys, let's just go straight to the video. So guys, on to the ingredients on uh, for our donut, for our fluffy donut balls. Um, definitely we need to have some flour. This is just the normal all-purpose flour. We have yeast. Then we have an egg. Okay, this one is a cup of uh, all-purpose flour. So we'll need an egg. We'll take, um, okay, for those who love the taste of yeast, you'll use, for this amount of flour, you'll use a tablespoon of yeast. But myself, I'll use less because I don't really like the taste and the smell of yeast. It's all about for it to activate. Then we'll have a tablespoon, not a tablespoon, a teaspoon of salt. We'll have half a cup of sugar we'll need some um in the mixing process we'll need some two tablespoons of cooking oil but this is not for the deep frying purpose this is for the mixing purpose then a cup of fresh milk warm fresh milk so i hope you've understood so we can proceed to the mixing proce process so to begin with guys we are going to use this tin to mix the ingredients so the first step is to take your warm one cup of milk you pour it here then a half cup of not a half a quarter cup of sugar a quarter you add then you mix it well I don't know how long this will take to dissolve. <laughs> so guys, after mixing your sugar and uh, and and what do we call milk. not the milk? <laughs> You're supposed to take um, a tablespoon of yeast, but as I said myself, I don't really love the taste and smell of yeast. So myself, I'm going to use a teaspoon, but you're supposed to use a tablespoon. Since it's not going to dissolve, we're going to let this rest covered for about five minutes. Five minutes later, guys, you uncover, and this is how your mixture looks. Looks not so nice. <laughs> then the next thing, it's already smelling so fermented. The next thing we are going to add in an egg. Like that. After adding the egg, you come in with... Uh, 
I'd said a teaspoon, but actually it's a quarter teaspoon of salt. This is a quarter, yes? Like that. And then two tablespoons of cooking oil. I'm already choking, guys, with the smell of yeast. After that, you come in with your one cup of all-purpose flour. Just the whole of it at a go. And then you mix till you get a very smooth paste. So guys, you continue mixing, continue mixing like you want to bake a cake. Actually, we are not going to use any oven in this. So follow, keep following, keep watching. Ensure your paste is very smooth. Mine still has some lumps here and there. So guys, once your paste is smooth enough, you let it rest for you cover it well or rather tightly and you let it you let it rest <laughs> you let it rest for about uh, 30 to 45 minutes then we'll return but leave it in a warm place so guys about 45 minutes later here we go that's how it is that's how it looks it has risen it has almost doubled in size then we've preheated the oil this is uh, the cooking oil that we are, we are going to use so to avoid a lot of mess i'm just going to transfer this into a jar so that it's easier for me to to scoop out so guys i've transferred here then we have this type of uh, spoon it's like a soup spoon a scooping one so to begin with we're going to dip it in the oil the oil is hot already like that so guys to begin with we are going to scoop some amount of this paste like that and add to this spoon after adding you dip it like this not fully then you scoop oil using a different spoon or something else on top of this i hope you guys are seeing that then you let it cook as you do that once you feel that it has it is not stuck on your spoon you let it go then you let it cook as it cooks you scoop another ensure the quantity is not too much because of the it's swelling or it increases in size you turn this as this other is cooking So this is the procedure guys, it's so simple. This one is ready as you let go of that one.
you turn this as you scoop another. You have to be quick and ensure your heat is not so high because um, you may end up burning the, the donuts. The purpose of using this spoon is to make it round, guys. But uh, if you don't, if you do not have the spoon, you can just scoop them in any shape. You see, this one is ready. And it's so fast. One gets ready, the other is being added in, just like that. You turn this one. You add another. If your space is big enough, you can keep adding. But if your space is small, you have to wait for one to cook. You turn this one. As you can see, guys, just leave the spoon. Once that one is leaving the spoon, the other one is ready. You see how round it is? It looks so fluffy. So you let go of that. As these others are cooking, you come in with another. So that's the procedure, guys, till we finish. So guys, we are winding up. We're winding up. This is the last one, guys. Ensure it leaves your spoon voluntarily. Don't force it out. Just keep adding in oil like that so that uh, it's fluffy. Then it lets go of the spoon. This other one is ready. You see? So spongy. Just returns back on its own. So. We wait for the last one then i show you guys how they look hey it's so yummy already and so guys this is the end result imagine ile tuunga kidogo all these guys it's amazing yes these are the fluffy the soft fluffy uh donut balls let's check if the inner part is good wow you see guys so spongy it's well cooked and it's very moist it looks so nice looks like a cake yes yeah i just don't want to taste it yet because it's still hot and uh, you know the yeast so i'm just going to let it cool i'll have a few before you know guys what do you think share with your friends um comment on this video give a like to this video you see guys i've done a good job give a like to this video and uh, do not forget to subscribe to my channel that's the most important thing subscribe to my channel for more more amazing content until next time guys i hope you enjoyed this i hope you enjoyed watching this video please try out this recipe and let me know in the comment section or tag me wherever you love posted till next time guys Toodles.